slimline range of exercise videos. There's one that'll suit you. Start Up To Fitness is a complete beginner's programme designed to introduce you to all the different aspects of physical fitness. Work out to the calorie burner at least three times a week and you'll be surprised at the great results. If you really want to slim, trim and tone the muscles in your tummy and upper body, then this is the programme for you. You'll soon notice the difference in your body shape. These exercises are designed to concentrate on those problem areas of the bottoms, hips and thighs. They won't be problem areas for long. Exercise and learn to dance at the same time with Dance Dynamics. Why not? I've been doing it for years and I love it. Try all five Slimline videos and you'll see that exercise can be fun. And for a great overall body workout, try Complete Works, a more challenging series of exercises to give you a firmer and more shapely body. Welcome to the Shape Challenge, the diet and exercise program that will shed those excess pounds, burn fat, and give you the great shape you've always wanted. To lose weight, you need to reduce your calorie intake below the amount you burn up, so that your body has to call on its reserves of fat. And by increasing the number of calories you burn up through exercise, you have the perfect combination. The Shape Challenge diet plan, enclosed with the video, follows the very latest recommendations for good health and is tailor-made for slimmers following this exercise program. The diet is ideal for everyone, including mothers who are still breastfeeding and have special nutritional needs. Before you begin, do please check the rules in the diet plan. The diet is high in carbohydrates, low in fats, and perfect for anyone who exercises. The Shape Challenge workout consists of four individual sections, starting with a warm-up to prepare you for the harder work to follow. The low impact aerobics, the fat burning section, is divided into four equal parts totaling 30 minutes. If you find it difficult, you can build up your aerobic capacity by doing one section at a time. Once you're comfortable with this, attempt the next section. Remember, build up to the full 30 minutes gradually. The conditioning section is vital for a full balanced program. It will improve your muscular strength and endurance and trim and tone those difficult areas to improve your overall body shape. Stretch and cool down, a must in every workout to help prevent soreness and injury and to develop your full range of movements. It also helps you to relax and leaves you feeling good. Whilst we recommend that you do the whole program three or four times a week, you may decide to separate the aerobic and conditioning components and do a shorter workout every day. Remember though, whatever you choose, you must always warm up first and stretch and cool down at the end of your workout. During the aerobic section, it's important to monitor your intensity to see if you're working too hard or not hard enough. As a guideline, you should be able to speak comfortably, but if you're tired or out of breath, you must slow down, drop your arms and march gently until you feel ready to join in again. Make sure you've read the booklet and are familiar with the heart rate chart. To take your pulse, place the tips of two fingers on your wrist just below the thumb and press down lightly. Or take two fingers, not your thumb, and put them in the middle of your neck, moving an inch to the side where you feel a slight indentation. Once you feel your pulse, count the number of beats in six seconds and multiply by 10. This gives you the number of beats per minute. Now check the chart. Beginners should work between 60 to 70% of their maximum heart rate and more advanced students at 70 to 80 percent. Find your age and check your heart rate is within your target zone. We'll be checking your heart rate twice during this section. The recovery heart rate should be approximately 10 percent less than before. Back to centre, arms down, roll through. Well, Michelle and Denise are ready for the shape challenge. Are you? Yeah!
During the last 10 weeks, Denise and Michelle have stuck to the exercise and diet plan, and it's really worked. Let's take a look and see what they've achieved. Michelle is 35. She's 5 feet 5 and a half inches tall and weighed 11 stone 2 pounds. She gained weight during her pregnancy. And after 10 weeks, she now weighs 9 stone 6 pounds. A weight loss of 1 stone 10 pounds. Denise is 30. She's 5 feet 7 and a half inches tall and weighed 11 stone 5 pounds. She gained weight through bad eating habits and lack of exercise. And after 10 weeks, she now weighs 9 stone 7 pounds. A weight loss of 1 stone 12 pounds. Isn't that fantastic? Well done, girls. Now let's get ready to do the workout that Denise and Michelle have been doing over the last 10 weeks. Before we start, make sure you're wearing supportive trainers and comfortable clothing. Have a towel handy and a glass of water in case you get thirsty. Now remember to keep a good posture throughout the class and carry it through to everyday life. This will give you confidence and help improve your new look. Okay, we're ready to start the warm up. Let's check our posture. Take your feet apart, knees slightly bent, abdominals tight, buttocks tucked under, shoulders back and down and head in a neutral position. We're going to start with plies and deep breathing. Breathe in and out and in and out. Double up, swing the arm, shoulder height. Back straight, ready to transfer. Here we go, no arms. Upright row, pull. Single arm, pull. And pull, good. Sweat out, feet together. Shake it down. Come on, use those arms. March it out. Apart, we're ready to transfer again. No arms. Come on, come on. Upright row. Single arms. Good. Sway it out. Bend those knees. Shake it down. March it out. Feet apart. Here we go. Shoulder lift. Singles. Good. Together, lift. Single circles back, lift. Full arms, round. Let's do that again in twos. Together, circle back and round. Travel to the side, heel down. Good. Singles, heel down. March it forward. Tap it out, and back, and tap, and forward, and tap, and back. Feet together, hip thrusts, pull, good. Hip swings, come on, let it go. Again, hip thrusts, squeeze the buttocks, good. Travel to the side, here we go, one step, heel down. Again. Singles. Keep breathing. March it forward. And tap. And back. And tap. Again. And back. Good. March it out. Take your feet apart. Arms up. Rib isolations, here we go. Keep those hips still, shoulders down, abdominals tight. Flex the elbows, in, two, three, four, doubles. Ready to lunge to the left, here we go. And change sides. Heel toe taps, bicep curls, keep those elbows tight and change. 
Try that again. Lunge. And change. Heel toe taps. Pull up. And change. Good. Double squats to the left. Good. Now bend those knees back straight. Singles. Pull the arms up and down. Keep breathing. Doubles. Singles. And transfer, drop the arms down. Good. Breaststroke. Use the arms. Push. Push. Good. Singles. Push. Arms up. String curls, no arms, ankle to buttock, now add the arms, forward. Knee lift to the side, turn the head. Pull down. Let's travel it, here we go, forward. Knee lift, pull. Travel it. Knee lift. Lunges. And change. Heel toe taps. Good. Other side. Back to double squats. Good. Come on, bend those knees. Back straight. Singles. Transfer, drop the arms. Good. Breaststroke. Ready to lunge. Nice wide position. Here we go. Near the ankle. Shoulders down, back straight. Let's add an arm. Take it out. Across. Out. Cross. Out. Cross. And up to centre. Other side. Hold. Up. Side stretch. Pull up to the side. Down. Up. Good. Change sides. Pull. Bring directly to the side. Transfer. We're going to turn to the side. Place the back heel down. Here we go. Nice. Keep it there. Lean forward. Stretch through the calf. Back heel press to the floor. Lift and tilt. Kneel. Good. Back straight. Near the ankle. Heel down. And tuck, heel, and heel, tuck, good, and heel, tuck, last time. Transfer the weight to the back, flex the foot, pull up and over, stretch through the hamstrings, now contract, feet together, march it out, step to the side, take the arms up, Push away. Stretch through the upper back. Take the arms to the back. Clasp the hands behind. Stretch through the pectorals. Good. Transfer. This time we're going to repeat the stretches and take the left foot to the back. Heel down. And hold. Now make sure your stomach is in. Your back heel is pressed to the floor. Tilt and kneel. Good. Two. And four, heel down, tuck, kneel, heel down, tuck, kneel, two more, and kneel, back straight, and kneel, good, transfer the weight to the back, flex the front foot, take the weight forward, stretch through the hamstrings, flat backs, roll up, march it out, Ready to reach up out of the waist? Here we go. Up. Now hold.
hold it there, push away. Turn the feet out, open the arms, bend the knees, move slightly forward. Contract, round the back, release. Contract, release, contract, release. Roll all the way up. Step to the side. Take the arm across, stretch through the shoulder, push back on the upper arm. Into tricep stretch. Pull back on the upper arm, hands between the shoulder blades. Good, now march it forward. And tap. And tap. Good. Step to the side. Other arm across, shoulder stretch. Push back. Good. Tricep stretch. Hands between the shoulder blades. Pull back on the upper arm. Okay, get your balance. Lift the heel. Pull it towards the buttocks. Knees soft. Pelvis press forward. And change. Stretching through the quads. Good. And down. March it out. Well done. Now that we've warmed up and stretched out all our muscles, we're ready for the aerobic section. March it out. Now remember, if you get tired or out of breath, just drop your arms and slow down. March it out gently until you feel ready to join in again. We're going to start with a grapevine to the left. Here we go. Nice and easy, again. Now tap it out. Let's try that again. Here we go. And again. Tap it out. Lunge to the left. Here we go. Four, three, two, and change. Good. Singles, keep the arms down. And again, fours. Good. And change. Singles, arms up. Pet decks. Now let's go back to beginning and join it up. Good. Tap it out. Lunges. Keep those abdominals in. Alternate. Good. Now march it out, men. Bend the knees. Use those arms. Forward and back. Bend the knees. We're going to learn a new section now. Three walks forward and a knee lift. No arms. Here we go. Walk, knee, and lift. Good. Heels down for eight. Try that again with the arms. Pull back. Knee lift. Good. Heels down. Keep breathing. Now lunge diagonally across. Two arms up. And change. Alternate. Let's try that again. Four. Three, two, and change. Good. Alternate. Now we're going to join that section together. Three walks forward. Here we go. Good. Heels down. Lunge to the diagonal. Four, three, two, and change. Alternate. Now march it out and in. Good. Use those arms, bend the knees, forward and back. We're going to go right back to the top of the routine and join the whole thing together. Great line to the left, here we go. Tap it out. Lunge 
changes. And change. Alternate up with the arms. Squeeze those elbows together. Three walks forward. Good. Knee lift and back. Again. Heels down. Lunge the diagonal, arms across. And change. Alternate. Good. March it out and in. Forward and back, here we go. One more section to learn. Double squat to the left. Here we go. We did this in the warm up, remember? Back straight, bend those knees. Singles. Pull those arms down. And again. Double. Singles. Right back to the top of the routine. Great vine. Good. Tap it out. Working a little harder. Lunging. Come on. And change. Alternate arms up. Pull up. Keep breathing. Three walks forward. Knee lift and back. Knee lift again. Heels down. Lunge across. Here we go. And change. Alternate. Double squat to the left. Here we go. Nearly there. Keep breathing. Arms up. Good. Doubles. Singles. We're going to march out and in and add an arm. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Good. Forward and back, arms up, 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 down, down. Good. Let's try that again, last time. Yes, good. Forward and back, up, up. Keep it going. Well done, march it out. We're going to increase the tempo and the intensity a little bit and work a bit harder. We're going to start stepping forward and back, leading with the left leg. Five, six, seven, and forward. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Tap and change. Bend those knees. Keep breathing. Two more. Tap and change for four. Four. Three. Two. Tap and change. Four. Three. Two. Tap and change for two. One. Two. And change. One. Two. Singles, no arms. And tap. Good. Double chasse to the left. Slide those feet. Good. Singles. Doubles. Here we go. Slide. Use the arms. Singles. March it out. Good. We're going to step forward on the left leg, going into knee lift. Six, seven, no arms. Knee lift. Two, three. 
Now let's add some single arms, hand to knee. Good. Four more. Step across, kick to the side. Flip that leg. Four more. Knee lifts for four. Back straight, abdominals tight. Step across. Twos, knee lifts. Step across. March it out, good. Keep breathing. Double chasse to the left, here we go. Singles. Into the wide step. No arms. Leading with the left. Tap and change. Right leg. Good. Tap and change for two. One. Two. Tap and change. One. Tap and change. Singles. Now we're going to add a turn. Turn, tap. Good. Keep it going. Two more. Now change the tap to a lunge. Four more. Good. Change the lunge to a knee lift. Pull the arms. If you can't do the arms, don't worry. Five, six, seven, eight. Back to lunges. Four, three. Knee lift. Twos, lunge. Knee lift. March it out. Back to centre. Hands to the shoulders. Step forward, knee lift, hand to foot. Pull up. Bend the supporting knee slightly. Back arm up. Reach. Two more. Good. Kick to the side. Step and kick. Double arms. Keep breathing. Pull up. Knee lift. Step across. Four. Three. Two. One. Twos. Kick to the side. Good. March it up. Keep it moving. Double chasse to the left. Here we go. Come on, move it. Singles. Step together, step to the side. No arms, small circles. Bend the knees a bit bigger. Full arms. Come on, bend those knees. Two more. Good, march it out. Together step, four, three, two, one. March it out. Twos. March it out. Good. Into the wide step with arms. Out, in, out. Good. Keep breathing, nearly there. Tap and change, leading with the right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tap and change for four. Four, three, two. Tap 
and change. Four, three, two. Tap and change. One, two, tap and change. Singles, no arms. Four, three, two, one. March it out. Good. Now it's time to check our pulse rate to see how hard we're working. Now find your pulse on your wrist or your neck. Count the amount of beats in six seconds. Starting now. Multiply that number by 10 to find your beats per minute. Now look at the chart and find your age. Check that you're working within your target zone. Are you ready to go on? Let's rock. Take the arms up and make them big. Good. Forward and back. Try that again. Here we go. Hips. And again, back. Back to the top. Here we go. Clap. Step to the left. Hips. Step to the right. Hip swings. Come on, let it go. March it out. Keep breathing. New step. Step kick on the left. No arms. Back straight. Good. Add some arms. Down and up. Now hand drive, feet apart, guys. Potato. March it out. Let's go back to the very top, join it all together and clap. Good. Four steps. Hips. Four steps. Hips. Step kick with the arms. Enjoy. Cut. Mashed potato. March it out. Come on. New set to learn. Two walks to the left. Here we go. Dig it down. Good. Again. Let's add some arms. Step, knee lifts. Clap under the leg. Back straight, soft knees. Now twist, arms across, heels down, arms up. Two walks. Step knee lift. Twist, arms across. Arms up. March it out. New step. Hip taps to the left. Here we go. Change. Knee lifts. Pull. Let's try that again. Hip taps. Knee lifts. Join that whole section together. Two walks. Knee lifts. Twist. Arms across. Arms up. Hip taps. Knee lifts, good. March it out. Right the way back to the top of the routine. 
Step left. Hips. Step right. Hips. Step kick. Good. Into hand drive. Here we go. Come on. Cuts and cuts. Mashed potato. Two walks. Keep breathing. Knee lifts. Twist it out. Arms across. Arms up. Hip taps. Change. Knee lifts. Back to the top. Last time through. Yes. Up. Back. Good. Hip swings. Step right. Hips. Step kick. Arms up, pull up. Good. Hand drive, feet apart. Mashed potato, two walks. Knee lift, clap. Good. Twist it out. Heels down. Nearly there. Hip taps. Here you go. Last time. Knee lift. Hip taps. Watch it out and in. Well done. Lily there. Step clap. Arms up. March it out. Good. OK, we're going to decrease the intensity and slow it down a little bit now. We'll also be included some range of movement stretches in this section. March it out and in. Forward and back. Bend the knees, pull up. Great bind to the left. Here we go. Tap it out. Lunging. Other side. Alternate, arms down. Step knee lift. No arms, back straight, soft knees. Step across and kick to the side. Good, nice and easy. Keep breathing, twos. Step across. Twos again, knee lift. Step across. Clap it out. Step up and down. Step to the left four times. Hip swings. Other side. Good. Hips. Step kicks. Keep the arms down. Good. Pull up, double chasse left, slide those feet, good, steady your breathing, singles, let's do that again, doubles, singles, And march it out. 
Ready to transfer the weight? Here we go. Pull up. And lunge. Keep it smooth. Knee over ankle. Abdominals tight. Good. Take the arms forward, push away. Upper back stretch. Now take the arms to the back. Clasp the hands behind and take them away. Stretch through the pectorals. Good. March it out. Alternate calf stretch, starting with the left leg. Take it back. Heel down and down. Press that heel into the floor. Keep your weight forward. Now hold it there for eight. Back straight, abdominals tight. Six, seven feet together. Again. Good. One more. Hold it there. Good. Five, six, seven, and sway. Come on, bend those knees not too high with the arms. Now settle the feet and plie. Back straight. Good. Side stretch, reach directly to the side and pull. Abs tight. Good. Plie. Up. Good. Squeezing the buttocks. Side stretch, other side, pull. Good. Now lunge, reach out, cross, out, cross. Hold it there, push away, center. Other side. Push away. Again. Push away, center, last time. Good. Push away. Great vine. Tap it out. Nice and easy. Keep breathing. Lunges. Keep them small. Change. Alternate. Shoulders down, small arms. Step to the side, step touch. Tricep stretch. And change. Pull back on the upper arm. Good. Feet together. Left foot back, transfer the weight, flex the foot. Take the weight forward. Stretch through the hamstrings. Point, flex. Point. Now roll up. Lift the back heel, tilt the hip, breathe in, nice and slow, good, change feet, transfer the weight, flex, now point, roll up, step forward, lift the heel, tilt the hip, breathe in, and out, good. Now lift into a quad stretch. Hold the ankle, pull it back towards the buttocks, press the pelvis forward. Soft knees and change, good. Get your balance. March it out. All right, now settle the feet in a plie. And hold. Now just contract. And release. Contract. Now roll all the way up. Good. March it out. Arms up. And open. And march. Now bring it down. OK. Let's check our recovery heart rates. Find your pulse on your wrist or your neck. Count for six seconds starting now. Now multiply that number by 10 and check the chart. As a guideline, your recovery heart rate should be approximately 10% less than before. 
Now we're ready for the conditioning section. Remember, if your muscles start to wake or hurt, you must stop and rest. Join in again when you're ready, or wind forward to the next section. Build up your strength and endurance gradually. Before we go into the next section, I'd like to demonstrate the correct technique for the squat. The squat is primarily used to develop the quadriceps, the hamstrings, and the buttocks. So we'll start with our feet shoulder width apart. The upper body is held erect, abdominals tight. We're going to take our weight back over our heels, leaning slightly forward and up. We're going to start with eight single squats, keeping our arms down by the sides. Nicely pulled up. Five, six, seven, and good. Keep that weight back. Good. Five, six, seven. Now add some arms. Counterbalance. And in. Good. Two, three, four. Four more. Five, six, seven. Now half time. Down and down. Squeezing the buttocks. Down, down. Two more. Up, up, down, down, up. And pulse it. Three, two, one, and up. Good. Two, one, and up. Three, two, one, come up. Three, two, one, and centre. Singles. Pull. Weight over the heels. Now lift the left heel, one, pull back, good, two, squeeze, three, four, back to centre, one, two, three, keep those abdominals tight, four, lift the right heel, one, good, two, three, back to centre for two, and down, pull, lift the left heel, Good. Centre. Right heel. Good. And relax. Now turn the feet out. We're going to go into plies. Ready? And down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Down, down. Thighs. Two, three, and up. Four, two, three, and up. Five, two, three, and up. Six, two, three, and up. Two more. Seven, two, three, and up. Eight, two, three, and up. Rise up. Two. Up to the balls of the feet. Back straight. Abdominals tight. Seven, eight, now all the way down and down. Up, up, and up, down. Squeeze those thighs. Good, and down. Squeeze the buttocks. Down, up, up. Four more. Last time. Good. Now march it out. We're going to go back to the squat and work the inner thigh. Here we go. And take the leg across. Flex the foot and lead with the heel. Down. Weight over the heels. Six. Seven. Change legs. Here we go. Down. Lead with the heel, two. Work that inner thigh. Careful not to hyperextend. Two more. 
Good. And fours. Change. One. And lift. Two. Keep that heel up. Three. Pull back. Change. Pull back. And lift. Back. And lift. Good. And twos. Last time. March it out. Good. Back to the squat and out of thigh. Feet shoulder width apart. Here we go. And back and lift. Now lead with that heel up to the ceiling. Three. Abdominals tight. Don't hyperextend. Drop the shoulders. Lift. Keep a solid base and change. One. Two. Keep breathing. Three. Four. Five, don't go too high with that leg. Six, seven, eight. Change legs for four. One, two, three, four. Change feet. Nearly there. Lift. Two. And again in twos. And down. Squat. Up. Lift. Last time. March it out. Well done. OK, girls, if you'd like to get the mats, we'll do some floor work. Now, the upper body seems to get the least amount of attention during the workout. When you consider how much lifting and carrying we do in everyday life, I think you'll agree how important it is to increase the muscular strength and endurance of the upper body. Now, the best exercise for this without the use of external resistance is the press-up. The muscles used during the press-up are the deltoids, the triceps, and the pectorals. Let me demonstrate the correct technique with Denise, and you can do it with us. Correct body alignment is essential. For a simple press-up, take the box position. Your hips should be in line with your knees. Your shoulders should be in line with your hands, with your fingers pointing forward, and your elbows relaxed. Good. Contract the abdominal muscles to support the lower back. Make sure that your neck is in line with your back. Now flex the elbows and lower the chest towards the floor and come up. Good. To make the exercise harder, take the knees farther away. Good. And lower and come up. Make sure that you get those shoulders in line. That's it. Good. Good. If you'd like to do it with us, get in the correct position. Now then, we're going to start with narrow base press-ups. Make sure your shoulders are over your hands and that your hands are close together with your fingers pointing forward. Contract the abdominals. Five, six, seven, and lower, and up. Good. Four more. Don't lock the elbows. Half time, now halfway down, down, up, and again. Keep those abdominals tight. Good, now pull back slowly. And come up. Now take the hands wider than shoulder width apart, still making sure that your shoulders are over your hands. We're going to lower chest to the floor, singles for eight, and then doubles for eight. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now doubles. Here we go. Down, down, and up. Down, down, and up. Four more. Don't lock the elbows. Good. Pull back. And come up slowly. This time, keep your left hand below your shoulder, in line with your shoulder, and your right hand forward of that. We're going to do half-time press-ups for four, changing hands after the fourth press-up. Six, seven, here we go. Down, down, up, 
Up, down, down. Up, two more. Change hands and down. Down, two more, half time. And pull back, good. Now slowly roll through the spine and come up into a cross-legged position on the mats. Good. Flat backs, pull up. Let's stretch through the triceps. Pull back. And change, good. Take the hands to the back. Let's stretch through the pectorals, past the hands and take them away, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good. And relax. It's important when working the abdominal muscles to also strengthen the opposing muscles of the lower back. This will help maintain a good posture. If you'd like to watch while I demonstrate, turn to the side, place your hands under your thighs and roll slowly down the spine. Make sure that your knees and feet are hip width apart your abdominals are flattened and your back is pressed into the floor. Relax your shoulders and take the hands to the side of the head. Now, as you lift your head and shoulders off the floor, make sure that there's a gap between the chin and the chest and the eye line is up. Breathe out on the way up and in on the way down. As an easier alternative, support your neck with one hand and take the other hand from your chest towards your knees and down. Michelle will be doing this during the workout. OK, if you'd like to get into the opening positions, roll down the spine slowly. Press your backs down, flatten the abdominals, hands to the side of the head. We'll start with two counts up and two counts down. Five, six, seven, here we go. Half time, up, up, and down. Up, up, and down. Breathing out. Now press your lower back into the floor. Two more. Singles and lift. Four more. Keep those elbows out to the side. Half time, four. Three. Two. Last time. Singles, four. Three. Two. Now I want you to hold it up, one hand on the thigh and pulse. Support your neck with the opposite hand. Tiny movements, keep the eye line up. Again. Good, now roll down slowly. Take the arms to the side, cross the legs, Drop the feet towards the buttocks and the knees are open. We're going to contract the abdominals and roll the pubis bone towards the chest. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and lift. Contract. One more. Seven. Uncross the legs. Extend the legs. Lift. Contract. And bend. Lift, contract. Two more. Press that back down, contract. Make sure your knees are over your stomach. Last time. Now cross the opposite leg over, drop the knees, and back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Relax the shoulders. Seven. Uncross the legs. And extend up. Lift. Lower and down. Up, lift, lower and 
down. Good. Last time. Okay, put your feet onto the floor and very slowly supporting yourself, roll over onto your stomach. Lower back strength. Rest your head in your hands, press your pelvis into the floor, keep your feet in contact with the floor and lift the upper body up and down. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Now Michelle is doing the easy alternative, keeping one hand in contact with the floor. Half time, lift, extend, in and down. Extend, in and down. Lift, extend, in and down. Last time, singles, here we go, up and down. Four more. Half time, lift, extend, in and lower. Take a rest if you get tired. Last time. And lower, stay there. Now this time keeping your upper body on the floor, I want you to bend one leg, push the other leg up to the ceiling, lower and down. We'll start with the right leg, five, Six, seven, and eight. Up, lift, lower, and down. Up, lift, lower, and down. Four more. Good, and relax. Now turn back slowly onto your back. We're going to work the oblique muscles. Roll down slowly. Flatten your backs. Cross the right leg over left. Turn the knee out to the side. Left hand to the side of the head. Right arm out to the side. We're going to lift and take our opposite shoulder towards the opposite knee and down. Count you in. Remember to press your back down. Five. Six, seven, here we go. One, two, breathing, three. Now half time, here we go. Halfway up, up, down, down. Keep that elbow out. Remember the gap between the chin and chest. And change legs. Cross the other leg over, turn the knee out, hand to the side of his head. Ready to lift, and up and down. Two. Two more. Half time. Up, up, down, down. Up. Up, down, down, lift. Good, uncross the legs. Hands to the side of the head. We're going to bring alternate feet in. Knees into opposite shoulder and lift. Lift, lift, lift. Over, last time. Onto the stomach. Rest the head in the hands. We're going to lift the upper body, turn the body to the right, touching the uh, elbow onto the floor, and back down to the centre. Remember to keep your pelvis pressed into the floor and your feet in contact with the floor. Five, six, seven, and up. Twist. Up and back. Up and twist. Up and back. Good. Good. 
and relax. Pull back onto the haunches. And come up into a lower back stretch. Good. And relax. It's really important to stretch out at the end of your workout. This will lengthen your muscles and increase your range of movement. It'll also help you to relax. So let's start with our feet together. Holding your ankles, back straight, nicely pulled up, shoulders relaxed. We're going to contract our abdominals and round our lower backs, breathing out and then breathing in. Here we go. And breathe out. And out. Contract. Last time. Now hold, round the back, come back to centre, pull up, good, cross the feet, take the hands to the side, and side stretch over, lean directly to the side, take it easy, good, now hold, Make sure you support yourself with one hand on the floor, abdominals tight, open, and the other side, hold, just to a point of comfortable stretch, good, and open, now cross the hands, hold the knees, push the knees down, stretch through the upper back, good, and relax. Now cross your left foot over your right foot. Right arm across, push back on that outer thigh and lift. Hold it there. And change legs. Press. Over, good, pull back, and lift, and hold. Good, and relax. Now take your legs open. Comfortable position. Take your weight slightly forward. Now if you find this position too uncomfortable, try it with one leg in and one leg out like Denise. Take your weight forward, stretching through the inner thigh. Now change legs if you're on one leg. A bit further forward, keeping a flat back. And come up. Good. Turn to the side. And roll down. Knees and feet hip width apart. Flatten the abdominals, flatten the back, relax the shoulders. Good. Now draw one leg in. Hold under the thigh and the ankle. Pull the leg gently back towards the chest, stretching through the hamstrings. Ready to flex and point. Good. Now pull it back just that little bit further. Good. Foot on the knee, turn the knee out to the side and hold under the thigh, pull gently back. You should feel a stretch in the gluteal area here. And lower. Both feet on the floor, change legs, draw the other leg towards the chest. Good, stretch it through, hold the ankle. Flat back, flex and point, and flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Pull it back a bit further, just gently. Give a stretch down the back of the leg. Okay, cross the foot over the knee, turn the knee out to the side. Hold under the thigh and pull back. Hold it there.
and lower. Both feet on the floor, arms to the side. Now drop the knees to one side, the head to the other side. Now just relax, make sure your shoulders are in contact with the floor. Back to center, and change. Slowly roll onto your stomach. Support yourself as you turn over. Rest your head in your hands. Hold your ankle. Pull the ankle towards the buttock. Press the pelvis down, stretching through the quads. And change. Pull the ankle back. And pull up onto the elbows. Stretch through the abdominals. And lower. Come push back onto the haunches. Come up through the spine. Stand up. Step forward. And reach up. Good. Rise onto the toes. Good. Now take one foot to the back. Heel down and lift, tilt the hip. Breathe in and out. Change feet. Heel down, lift, tilt the hip. Breathe in and out. Good. Reach up. Plie. Turn the feet out. And in. Out. Good. And in. And lunge. Near the ankle, keep it small. Good. Transfer. Add an arm. Take it to the front. Good. Now hold it there. Push back on the upper arm, heels down. Stretch through the shoulder. Feet together, transfer the other side. Add an arm. Hold it there, heels down. Push back on the upper arm. Good. Feet together, windmill arms. From side to side, bend the knees. Good. Now just plie, breathe in, breathe out. Check your posture, back straight, abdominals in, buttocks under. Breathe in and out. Last time, breathe in and out. We do hope you've all enjoyed the shape challenge as much as we have, and we wish you every success with it. Good luck.